Lilium is among the front runners focused on bringing new EVATOL aircraft to market. And the German company is specifically offering its Lilium jet to business and private aviation customers who it feels may be looking for alternatives to jets and helicopters. We're in Europe where you know, CO2 emission is a concern for a lot of people. And a lot of people we're talking to are attracted by the fact that this is an aircraft with zero operating emission. You can actually see on the left-hand side we have a charging station and a cable. This is the actual charging station we have um, you know, for our customers. So the fact it's sustainable, number one, and it has a lot less noise footprint is also very important. Why? Because in that premium segment of people trying to fly an aircraft to the end destination, you can actually get closer to the end destination, whether it's your own real estate, whether it's inside the city. Before, you may not be able to do this simply because the noise was preventing you from doing this, and now you can do it. On top of it, it has a higher, the highest safety level, 10 to the minus 9, in, in regards to commercial transport safety standard, which is also very attractive, because the only other aircraft which can come close to this is a helicopter, and the helicopter is certified 10 to minus seven. This is 10 to minus nine. It has full fly-by-wire. It has tons of redundancies. We've got 30 engines, not one rotor. So that's actually very attractive. So safety, noise, and sustainability are attracting the people to buy our aircraft. The Lilium jet will come both as a six-passenger version for scheduled regional air services, but also with a more spacious four-passenger cabin, as what Lilium calls the premium edition. In terms of performance, Lilium's secret source is found in the 30 ducted fan electric motors installed in the wing and in the canard at the front of the aircraft. These tilt as the aircraft transitions between vertical and horizontal flight. So it's very important to have ducted fans for several reasons. Number one, we just talked about the noise. Of course, it contains the noise a lot better. But also from a safety point of view, containment is very important. If you have a, a bird strike, if you have those kind of issues on the blade, it's absolutely contained within the ducted fan. Very important. On top of it, we have really a perfect combination between a jet and a vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, which today is only the helicopter. And therefore, when you take off with our that position with the flaps in a vertical position and then you transition into horizontal, now you get the aerodynamic that you want in cruise. We only use, roughly speaking, 10% of our available power during cruise phase. That's because we have that aerodynamic effect of having the engines mounted on the canal and the wing. That gets us much better lift to drag ratio. When the Lilium jet enters service in 2026, it's expected to have a range of up to almost 110 miles and fly at speeds of around 155 miles per hour. The company says the aircraft's batteries will have sufficient power to operate more than one flight before needing to be recharged. A full recharge should take 45 minutes. We know a lot because we, do, we have a battery lab where we can do uh, aging and cycle testing. So we, we charge and discharge the batteries and the cells and we actually check how much cycles you can get out of it. We also, you know, in, in regards to the maintenance of the batteries, we also look at what can you do to change uh, quickly the batteries as you're going to have to replace them. Well, I can tell you it's an overnight inspection and check and, and work. So really, you can do it economically to make sure you don't have much impact on the operation of the aircraft as you're going to be flying uh, a scheduled service eventually. Therefore, you know, between the aging, which really what it, what it tells you is how, how often you're going to have to replace the batteries. And we feel very confident we can get at least 800 cycle, if not 1,000 or more, out of those batteries. And that re is reflected into our unit economics of the aircraft. We know exactly the cost uh, of the battery replacement for all operators, and we can actually guarantee that cost. So when we talk to a lot of our prospects and customers, they're really uh, satisfied with the level of maturity we have when we present those data to them. We have a battery service. It's part of our Lilium Power On um, you know, support and services organization. We have a uh, powered by the hour service on the battery. It makes a lot more sense. We can actually take care of it all. Um, and that's what they are looking for. Honestly speaking, uh, they want to have a service for the battery. And that's, uh, that's how we're signing our contract today. Since the aircraft is intended to operate as close to where customers and passengers need to begin and end their journeys, Lilium is giving a lot of thought to the infrastructure that will be required for that. 
The Lillium jet's wingspan is just over 30 meters, or almost 100 feet. Now, importantly, it fits the criteria for what's called a 40 meter D value, which means it can operate at just about all the world's existing heliports. The company sees a good case for the Evertol vehicle to replace helicopters in cities such as Sao Paulo, Brazil, where there are currently around 750 flights per day. And it could also connect locations along the French Riviera. Lilium is now working to satisfy the safety requirements of the regulators that will issue the all-important type certification. It's building prototype aircraft. Using simulators, it's also making plans to train the pilots who will fly these Evertol air taxis. So it's exciting, we're building MSN1 and MSN2, and we know in aviation those numbers uh, are quite important. And MSN1 will be used only for ground testing. It will be hooked up to our engineering simulator, which will allow us to do a lot of, of good tests, which will get us to permit to fly. And the MSN2 will be our first aircraft flying with a pilot on board by the end of the year. So MSN2 will be really our maiden flight aircraft. Lilium is competing with other Evertol aircraft pioneers, including Joby, Archer, Vertical Aerospace, Supernal and Volocopter, not to mention dozens more companies who are further away from service entry. The next year or two will be critical, improving the viability of this new mode of transportation. Well, I hope, like me, you find stories like this about the cutting edge of future aviation technology fascinating. If that's the case, please keep coming back to AINonline.com slash futureflight because that's where you'll find news on these topics day after day. And thank you for watching.